This is Federica Faella, Massimo Scali, the Italian national champions for the last three years. the idea of the theme oh a lovely little tap dancing step within the midline step sequence. know how to sell it fantastic great fun the music there from Irving Berlin and that's going to go down a storm in Los Angeles in March at the World Championship I love the the tap dancing elements in that it's, you can see when you get to know it though that the rules don't allow you to be doing the tap dancing steps in part of that when they were doing the diagonal step sequence they had to stay with the deep long edges and could only do the tap dancing punctuation at the end of that where it worked very well indeed and then didn't quite work after that when they were doing the tap dancing without the music there's so difficult to get it all to join up I love the idea of it there was a, for me a bit of a hole in the choreography where there wasn't an awful lot going on about 10 seconds of a loop before it came into that diagonal step sequence Midline step sequence, very good indeed, as you'd expect. He's got such flexibility on the spin that he, they can do the spin in a different way. There's that lift with the girl away from your body, providing she's not being supported by your body. That's deemed to be difficult. And a lovely touch. He's been watching the movies. How can we create the Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers look, the Gene Kelly look? Yeah, I really think they captured that, didn't they? Very yeah, in places you could see it. The rules, because they're saying you, you need to be doing the deep edges and the strong turns, doesn't allow you to do it all the time, even though the music might suggest that to you. So you have to play within the rules, of course.
Now, I'm a bit of a blur at the moment as to whether that was their second lift, because we're look, just looking at John and Sinead's marks, and on that sixth element, it looks like their last lift didn't get marked on our screen, doesn't it?